In this video, we'll discuss how to identify plants and separate them from soil using red, green, blue imagery. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need some outputs on the reflectance in the red, green, and blue parts of the spectrum. Uh, we've already gone over how to uh, extract those. It's really important that if you're using something like Pix4D Mapper that you're uh, developing those in the index section and not just in the orthomosaic section. Um, so it's important that these individual pixel values in your maps that you're starting with are actually telling you something about the real reflectance and it they might not necessarily look good if you open them up on their own. So for example, let's just take a look at these input files that are discussed elsewhere. Um, so if I just try to open this, then, I mean, you can see in the preview, it's not necessarily gonna look uh, very good if opened in a normal photo viewer kind of program, uh, because each one of those has a piece of data about the reflectance that might not translate well into how a photo viewer normally uh, would expect the, the formatting to be. So again, uh, it's actually probably a good sign if your images are not starting out um, in a way that is very clear what they look like. So we're gonna open up QGIS. This is where we're gonna be doing a lot of our work. And we're going to start off, let's go back to this. Uh, we're gonna start off by opening this new project. We can click there or we can go to project new. And now we have this new blank project and we can select the images that we want to use. These are our raster files and I just move them over. Uh, all I have to do is highlight them and bring them in. You can see that they've now loaded there. And now we have them um, here as red, blue, and green. That's not the order that the spectrum is laid out. So we, I think of them as being red, green, blue. I'm gonna move this down. Um, so what we see here is that the blue is on top and that box is checked and that means that what we're looking at here is blue. We can zoom in on this and take a closer look and whatever is on top is what will be loaded. Okay, so um, this is the blue map and this is a good sign. Um, that looks the way I would expect. I'll go through that in a second. Um, so we can uncheck these boxes and see what's below. So here, uh, the plants look very dark in our red orthomosaic, and that's that's great. That's exactly what we would expect because chlorophyll should be absorbing really strongly in the red in a healthy plant. I mean, it should not be reflecting that out, and um, it, chlorophyll should also be absorbing really strongly in the blue in a healthy plant and less in the green. Um, so what we should see is that the plants look really dark in the red, really dark in the blue, and maybe intermediate in the green. And that little bit of reflectance in the green is why they look green to us. Um, so yeah, sure enough, those plants definitely are reflecting more light here, and this is the green compared to the red there. Um, so that's what I would expect. And then we can check this blue. Sure enough, they're a little bit darker in the blue. So they're reflecting less. And this is all uh, exactly what I would want, so that's a good sign. So the next thing that we can do, we can go into uh, the raster tab here and then the raster calculator. This is gonna be super important for us to calculate vegetation indices. And a vegetation index is a simple uh, thing, but it can be kinda, it can seem complex sometimes uh, when you're starting out. But all it is, is just an equation where you can take the reflectance in different parts of the spectrum and um, calculate the, the ratios of them uh, using some equation and get a sense of how the plants are performing, for example, or, or any, uh, any surface is. So uh, there's one famous example called NDVI that maybe you've heard of, um, and uh, we'll go through that in a separate video, but, but basically you can imagine that since we already talked about how the plants are reflecting a lot of green compared to red or blue, uh, then they should be emitting most of the light that they're emitting in that green section. We could say, well, what percent is green? And maybe a plant that's not healthy, that's really yellow, 
um, and really kind of bright color, well, maybe it's going to have more reflectance across the spectrum in the red and the, the blue, too. Um, and therefore, the a percent of, reflect, of reflectance that's in the green is going to be lower. Um, so we're going to use a, a quick equation uh, using the raster calculator to determine essentially how much of the light that's being reflected from these is green. And this equation is called excess green. Um, so let's get in, into this. So the first thing that we want to do in this raster calculator is to specify where our output map is going to be saved to. And I'll save it here. That looks good. And we can call this again, excess green. And then again, this is an equation that somebody determined was related to the health of plants. And so we can look up what that equation is. And then it's super important that we keep the right order of operations as we go through this. Um, so here's the equation for excess green. And then it's very, very important that we go through and we plug in the right bands for each of these. And we make sure we have all the parentheses in the right spots and everything. Um, so we can start this off by just going back to QJS here. So I'm gonna go through this and I'm going to put in here the equation to two times, and then it's gonna be green, green reflectance divided by all light total reflectance. And so I can go that, do that two times and then I can use these or I can just type it in, either way is fine. And then I'm going to choose my green band divided by parentheses red plus green plus blue. good um, and then I'm going to when I check my parentheses we have two parentheses there that's very important so close that and then what we're going to do is if this is two times green divided by total minus red divided by total, minus blue divided by total um, so then okay I know that I'm going to be just using this expression quite a bit and I can just copy that So now I've entered that whole expression in and I'm going to double check it because it's really important that we have all of those parentheses the right way. So two times, two times parentheses. Green. So now I've double checked that and that looks good to me and I will click okay here. Great, so that's now finished processing. We can take a look at our output. If you ever want these to load a little bit more quickly, you can actually uncheck the ones below because we're not seeing those. They're all covered up, uh, but they will load every time we zoom in or zoom out. So it can be kind of better to have them not load every time we want to zoom in and zoom out. Um, and so sure enough, you can see that these plants that were showing up as being very dark and our images have a higher excess green value and that's exactly what we would expect so i can check what's underneath and those dark plants are showing up as having a very high uh, excess green value comparatively we can use this select tool we can actually get a sense of what our higher values are versus lower values. Okay, so some of our higher values are in the range of 0.37 uh, 
some of our elements. It's important here that we are selecting the right layer. So we, I did have that selected, but sometimes you can be looking at uh, this layer and you think you're selecting that, but actually if you go and click that, you're still looking at the same layer, but now you're getting totally different values. Um, so again, it's just important that, that was selected. And yeah, so sure enough, our, our low values are in here. This soil, for example, really does not have any excess of green. It is not green. It's you know very close to zero in those values, whereas our plants definitely do have an excess of green by comparison. Great. So then we can, we can actually do a few kind of neat things here if we want to. Uh, we can, for example, oops. we can change the color scaling, for example. So we, that's the way that that currently looks. We can change that by going to properties. So we can change this color uh, using this. So we can go to single band pseudo color um, and then use this equal interval and change the number of classes up to about 10 and that should look good afterwards let's see how this looks oops i zoomed out of that cool so this is just one way that we could change what this looks like so now we can go back to our raster calculator Now, if we want to separate out the, the plants from the soil, then we can do that pretty easily. I, again, we have to determine where we want to save this, and I'll save it as so usually in my own notation, I put the decimal as the second position there. Um, so I'll know that that's 0 0.1 was the threshold. And then what we can do is we can take this excess green value. And if our number is over about 0 0.1, then it should classify it as soil. And if it's below that, then it'll classify it as, or sorry, if it's below it, it'll classify it as soil. If it's above it, it'll classify it as plant. Great. Cool. So now we have a map that should pretty well distinguish between plants and soil. And it can be a good idea to go back and check this against our original images. Okay, so now our original ortho mosaic is loaded. can compare this against my threshold map. I think that's pretty good. Um, I mean, we could maybe bring that threshold down a little bit. Um, so could maybe bring that down, you know, 0.8 or something, 0.08, sorry. Uh, but I think overall, this looks pretty good. Um, and so this is a good starting point where we can really start determining what's plant, what's soil now, and we can start splitting it up. So this is uh, where we want to really get for now in the process.
So I hope you've learned something in this video and we'll check in next time on how to separate all of these out into um, individual plots and determine how much of that is actually canopy area versus how much is soil.